welcome back to another week. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Um, so today is actually Monday. I was debating whether or not I wanted to start a vlog here or just not do a vlog this week in general, just to kind of chill out for a bit. You know, I've been doing a vlog every week for the past year consistently and that's a lot of vlogs. So I was thinking of just taking a chill week to kind of like chill. Um, because last week's vlog I was a little bit out of it um, Not for any particular reason I was just completely burnt out And just I didn't really feel like filming a vlog But I did it anyways despite feeling that way I know a lot of you guys just love it, you know And um, I'm only saying this right now Because someone commented saying, you know Octavia, you don't seem like yourself Or she, I think she said something to that fact And it really annoyed me actually I'm going to be very honest It really annoyed me Because Number one, there's no need to point it out. There's no need. The comment didn't come from a place of concern. It was mainly to say like, oh, your attitude's a little bit off. Come on, like I'm a human just like you are. I have up days, I have down days, and I really do try to bring as much positive energy as I can, but sometimes Octavia struggles too, you know? Like I go through things like you and I go through life and whatever, so. Um, not just to me, but just be a little bit more sensitive to people around you People are going through things people are having bad days people are having bad experiences People are just going through things in general and just be a little bit more sensitive. Just be kind I'm not on 10 all the time, but most of the times I try to be but yeah, she saw that she was right I just got really annoyed I don't know if I responded to her, but I remember that triggered me a lot. And I'm a Cancer, so I don't like when things sit on my chest and I don't address it. So please excuse this little spiel that I just did. I just really had to address it because I don't want any beef between us, you know? I want us to be cool. I want us to have a good relationship. I'm not going anywhere. I hope you guys don't either. So I want us to make I want to make sure that we keep a very open communication between us both, you know? And yeah, that's pretty much it. So today is Monday. I spent the day filming a lot and I actually went to the office, did some errands there, and now I'm back home. But I did also pick up a few things today, so I thought I'd just do like a really quick haul while while I'm here. I'm about to just get changed and comfy because I have loads of editing to do but I said you know what let me just do a really a really quick haul let me just grab my chair my chair now lives in my closet it's not like out anymore as you guys can see my rack is here now I also picked up my first fall beverage of the year I got the cold brew with pumpkin cream sweet cream pump Pumpkin sweet cream cold brew coffee. So first place I went to was Nordstrom I finally went in to pick up all the things I purchased during the anniversary sale Don't ask me why they still have it. A lot of the things I got weren't really available So they were on like pre-order. So I'm finally picking everything up. So today I went in to pick up another long chomp bag I recently picked this one up. It's in this beautiful Brown color. I mean, it's beautiful. It's such a gorgeous shade um, perfect for the fall season, but this wasn't the one I initially wanted. I really wanted this one But I saw this and I'm like, you know what you don't have this one in stock. So I'll just take this and um, They just emailed me saying that this bag is now back in stock and I still wanted it because these are like literally the perfect everyday bags now you can either use it with a shaper or as is this one does not have a shaper in and I mean it works just fine. I don't mind it And then this is just the lighter color for when I'm wearing a more Neutral or even like a dark outfit and I want some sort of like a lighter color bag and the price for this one was 125 and I still have my black one I don't know if you guys remember me doing a video on the black long charm bag. I'll put that video here I still have that bag. It's definitely my go-to work tote so I don't use it other than to like bring to like the office kind of situation. Definitely will be using these as everyday bags. If you want me to do a more in-depth review on these bags, let me know. I just feel like it's very simple. It's truly just a tote bag. Not much to really say. Let me hang this up. Next up, I got a pair of shoes from the Superga brand. Jenny Day wears these. They look so cute and neat on her feet. And I actually own a pair of Superga's 
a long time ago but they always get so dirty and I feel the need to just get rid of them because they're very hard to clean I mean if someone has a hack I mean let me know but after a few months of wearing them I was I just got fed up so these I probably will be a lot more careful either way they're like $65 so really greatly priced and I have very weird feet I don't know if you guys have ever noticed my feet kind of go this way so there's a bone that bone right there is just it gets very irritated by certain sneakers like for example I can't wear Converse's I can't wear Air Force Ones the only sneakers that, that I can comfortably wear are Rothy's but I remember Superga's being fairly comfortable so I decided to just pick up another pair because sometimes I want a sneaker sneaker and not just a slip-on sneaker you know um, I'm just making sure that this is white <laughs> So I just got a pair of Superga, again, totally inspired by Jenny Day. My true size in shoes is a size 7, but I got a 6 and a half because I pretty much have a weird foot. Like, I can go between a 6 and a 7 easily. So I decided to go with a 6 and a half for this pair of shoes. Fits pretty nice. I love them. Just a very classic pair of white sneakers, you know? very classic and simple nothing really special it's literally just white sneakers and i think that's all i got from nordstrom i did go to return something from aritzia though i'm going to show you the sweater i purchased i purchased the sweater it's 128 it's not worth it so i brought that back so yeah anyways i stopped into apple to pick up a few things i went to get the iphone battery pack AJ has this, and if you guys don't know who AJ is, AJ is my cousin, my roommate. So AJ has this battery pack that he puts on his phone whenever he needs an like, additional battery. And my phone is always dying because, you know, influencer things. So I decided to just invest in the battery pack. And it's way more convenient than a portable charger because this just sticks to the iPhone because of, because of the MagSafe. Um, actually, I think I might show you guys how it, how it works. Let me grab my phone. Because of the MagSafe, which is that circular thing, it kind of just sticks to the phone like that. And it's like a little additional battery pack. So that's pretty much it for all that I picked up. I'm going to head into the shower right now. It's about like four, but I'm gonna shower, get my pajamas on. I've already had, I had like a really big lunch, so I'm not gonna have dinner or anything. I truly will be laying in this bed, editing, for pretty much until I fall asleep. That's pretty much what my night is going to consist of. So I'm just gonna get freshened up and all of that stuff and then I'm just gonna head to the bed to work. Cause I have a lot of content to edit to be quite honest. I have two videos in total to edit tonight and send over to the brand. Um, so I need to get to work. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow on Tuesday. We're probably going to go into the office um, just to kind of go in and get some other admin stuff done. But we will tackle that when tomorrow comes. I will see you guys then.
So on Tuesday, I woke up really early to go to Starbucks to get a coffee, journal, plan my week out and everything. But I also wanted to go get my nails fixed because the lady that did them the day prior did a horrible job. They're clumpy and thick and just not my cup of tea. So I ended up going back for her to file it down and everything. But yeah, just wanted to explain what I was doing here. morning happy wednesday so today i'm getting some poshmark orders shipped and ready to be on their way to the new owners i have this crop top here from aritzia i'm selling this i've worn it so many times i'm obsessed with it but still time for me to retire it um so i sold this i listed it at 30 dollars, i believe and someone bought it so i'm gonna ship that out actually now that i'm standing here i feel so sad about it because this crop top has literally it's fine time for it to go so i'm gonna sell this one and i have a thank you card here that i need to fill in just to say thank you for your purchase and then i sold this one here i only wore this top once but either either way it's time for it to go and then i have a thank you card for this i'm gonna fill this in as well and then put them in here then print labels and yeah they will be heading out to their new owners also, I'll put my Poshmark here. I'm going to be listing a lot of things weekly, every day. So you guys can just shop my closet there. Right there. Hey guys, so I'm pulling you guys out very randomly, but um, <laughs> I want to show Renee how much my hair has grown. Yeah, and here, here in the office. Oh my god, they haven't even seen you. Hold on. This is where she wants to show you. Here inside of our office that's made of glass, she would like to pull her leg off and show me how you grow. So you know how you haven't been in the vlogs a lot? Yeah. But Costa has been in the vlogs? Yeah. Here, here when people have been saying in the comments, where's Renee? I love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Ooh. laughs> Literally was like. <laughs> I love y'all. Hashtag no new friends. <laughs> I mean, I know you guys don't. I'm not trying to say you guys hate Costa or, or no, anything, but I've seen the comments. <laughs> I know you guys are talking about where's Renee. I miss Renee. Oh, no. I know. Costa's sweet guys. No, I mean. Oh, 
Renee, we all like they haven't seen. I don't know because we haven't like been in the office yeah. and I haven't really been at your apartment, so they haven't seen it. But we, do, Renee and I, we do hang out. But I don't vlog. Like sometimes it's like. We'll just do like, you know, a chill hot pot scenario. A little hot pot, a little chill, a little catch up vibes, not like, you know, all of that stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, I want to get a sew in. I was trying to tell her. I want to get a sew in. But my hair. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's braided. It's like really, really Look. braidable now. Oh, wow. And it's a complete braid. Like, yeah. it's not like chocolate chalk I mean, braids. This is fat. And they're fat, right? Do you think I, should, I could do like a little sewing? Yeah, I think you could. Definitely. See, guys, it's literally easy. I'd be so scared, guys. We should both going off. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm so behind on Love Island, you guys. So behind. And it's so funny, I'm watching an old TV show right now on Hulu called Greek. I don't know if you watched that back in, back in the day on like, I think ABC Family. You guys definitely tell me what shows you guys are watching right now because I feel like I have no idea. So Walking Dead American Horror Story is pretty good as well. I don't know if you guys are American Horror Story fan. I mean, it's very, they're very scary, but it's like a good scary. So I guess they're having happy hour today. I feel like I don't really deserve a drink though. Like I, no. oh, I wasn't really working that but hard. I feel like we do because we're going out to eat. Yay, 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 yay. Let's go to happy hour. Oh my God, it's kind of busting out there. I'm definitely. It's busting, busting. Well, I'm gonna. Uh, okay. Bust <laughs> right here. And I'll catch you guys later. too dark <laughs> my mom would definitely see this video and be like when it's too dark you know when I can't live so when I can't live so man <laughs> okay I said it. Um, guys have you ever just got out of the shower and saw the dead ends and it was like no <laughs> so I had to cut my hair I just the part that I'm before, I cut the front a little bit shorter. It's probably uneven, but whatever. Um, hold on. Oh my god, that's so funny. There's a little water on the way. A little water bubble, but it was it's fine. Oh. So Renee gave herself a little cut. I parted it in Sephora and I cut the front a little shorter from the back. I don't know if you can tell. No, I love it. So it's a little Missy, turn turn around. <laughs> I feel like one side is long. Actually, no. Now I that it's fluff is better. But you have this little piece. You have a little breakage. This broke it because I was well, I was parting my hair down the middle and doing it gel back so often that it's broken. Oh, so now you can't do that gel look anymore. No, we're gonna have to give that a break. Yeah. This winter, I was telling her I'm gonna be a straight baby. This is the rosé we grabbed earlier, um, not a fan.
finishing up our ramen, we got a Amber Alert stating that we need to head home immediately because we are to expect really heavy rains, flooding, etc. And this night was a was an absolute nightmare, you guys. It was so scary. So it's Thursday, it's now the day after the storm, and that storm, you guys, was so crazy. It was horrific. I've never seen rain like that ever in my life, and the water was just rising, but gratefully, everyone's safe and alive, you know, so I'm very grateful for that. It could have been a lot worse. So yeah, I'm just making gumbo, one of my favorite meals to cook these days. It's definitely a comfort food for me. So I have peppers and onions, you know, sauteing in the roux, as well as um, chicken and shrimp. I'm just going to saute for a little bit before adding in the other ingredients. So I'm now adding in some celery and I'm just going to saute that a little bit. Then I'm going to add in my andouille sausage that I fried um, previously. And after adding the chicken broth, I'm just going to mix everything together, allow all the flavors to merge. And I'm purposely like mixing so aggressively because I want all that brown stuff you saw stuck to the pot earlier. It's just to ruin like all the seasonings I use. So I just want that to kind of come up in the sauce. I'm adding in some tomatoes because I love tomato in my gumbo. And I'm just gonna mix it up and let it simmer for a while. And to season my gumbo, I keep it very simple. Cajun, salt, pepper, garlic powder, adobo, thyme, bay leaves. Just the simple seasonings will work because it's just going to have really great flavor and yeah, just let it simmer and it's going to get nice and thick and you serve it with rice. makeup pretty simple I didn't even put eyeliner on I am just wearing mascara right now I'm wearing the body gel mascara from benefit I'm just gonna spray my face using the Charlotte Tilbury so I was actually getting ready to go out with Casa Ron and Carl to this Mexican spot in New York City but you know me wherever I go I bring my snacks I just have my green juice and ginger shot here that I'm just gonna take and yeah, I'm just waiting for Costa to get ready and then we're gonna head out to the Mexican spot But first here's a look at my outfit um, Top and jeans are from PLT. I went for something very colorful to match the aesthetic of the restaurant and it overshared to keep me warm So we made it to Cantina. This is in Midtown. I Loved this restaurant. The music was great. The food was even better and I'm definitely going to go back
Good morning guys, happy Saturday. I'm getting ready right now to head out to Fina Nail Bar to get my nails done and a pedicure. Um, I woke up a bit ago, had some breakfast and now we're heading out. I'm actually wearing my Lululemon items again. Let me show you. I'm obsessed with it. You guys know how I told you that I saw Aaliyah face with these items and I was just like, I'm gonna get it. So this is the tank top, which I definitely need another one in like black or a pop of color. And then um, these are the leggings. I mean, not much to really show, like literally, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, I'm going to be heading out to Fina Nail Bar. Anyways, let me just brush my teeth, wash my face so I can head out. All done, I need to put on sunscreen and moisturizer. I need my heels and my sunscreen and then we're gonna head out.